Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to be upgrading the stereo in the Mark V Golf. Stay tuned. Alright, so here is the stock radio just got CD player no connectivity to your phone at all so we're going to be upgrading it to a better OEM one stay tuned so I'm going to go through the process that you need to do to swap it over it's quite easy you really need a few tools to do it okay right, so you really only need a couple of tools got a little plastic pry pry tool there trim tool it's um, a little bit broken all good and some torque bits I believe we use a T20 so what we need to do is we need to take all of this off alright let's get one of my other trim tools and yes they're dirty because I've actually been using them for body filler Quite easy, guys. That's obviously some type of sensor. Probably leave that connected. Just turn that around. Can't see anything. The vent. really hard to see but there is a T20 down here can't see it at all actually all right now we're rolling Sorry guys, I can't see it all. Put my head up all in there. Last thing you want is for that to fall down into the vent. Come on. There we go. Put it off to the side. That goes up the top. Now we do have a connector here. And by the looks of it, we should should take it out. There we go. Put that off to the side. So now this top section here should come off. Heard a little clip there. So bring that up. And see where that clip was. That all good. Alright guys, we're at this stage now. We've got two more T20 torque bits. So if you've got a Volkswagen, you'd have these torque um, tools. Oh, it's 
brittle. Gotta be careful, guys. Just broke that little tab there. It's been in the sun for 12 years. Don't tell the missus. Holidays. Filming this um between Christmas and New Year, so yeah, people are going away. So now get a little prior tool. We should be able to pop this section out. Should without breaking it. A little bit of pressure. Should start to see it come out. I'm gonna try the thicker one, just because it's a bit more tougher. Make sure you don't use metal like screwdrivers because you will damage the dash mat here. So, just a warning. Okay, guys. Little one's not very good. You can hear those clips popping. Hopefully they're not breaking. There we go. Right, so we're going to take off these two T20s. Oh, they're a bit tight. This way. Don't loosen that one. Don't loosen that one. Oh, <laughs> 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 nearly went down the vent. It's, uh... So that will allow this strip to come off. All right, we've got the two T20s out. We've got the pry tools again, the trim tools. And we should be able to just slowly and carefully put it down. Nice, put that off to the side. All right, more T20 screws. It's the ones that hold the radio in. So we'll just undo them. Hi guys, I've taken all the T20 screws out. This should just come out. Okay, right, so we've got these two wires here, and we've got a harness over here. So this is just a big clip. Pinch and pull. Should come straight out. There we go. Now we've just got these two. 
Alright, so I just rotated it around for you guys so you can see what you need to do. So, like a normal clip, really, or terminal. Sorry, guys, couldn't do it with one hand, but yeah, pinch it, pull it out. That's what it looks like. So, there we have it. There is the standard one. I'm guessing that's the pin number too. Standard. Alright, I'll show you the replacement. Alright guys, so here is a replacement. So I think it's redone by AA Auto Parts. Volkswagen there. It's part numbers and whatnot. Here is the fascia. So I've got USB, auxiliary, and an SD. Hopefully you can see it a bit better there. Put it in and um, hook it up and just see if everything works on it. Alright, so we've just got the harness. We've got an adapter here for the Mark V. That should go straight in. And these will go into here. Pretty simple. There's one into two, so hopefully I get them right. I'm not sure exactly sure what these are for. Here's the aerial. Got my neighbor doing the garden, so I'm gonna check you guys on um, on charge and come back. Alright guys, neighbour has stopped. So yes, here we go. The ignition on. And we have it off. Have analog clock. It's pretty cool. Turn it on. Go to radio. I set one and uh, stayed on, which is good. So, we go set up, we'll turn it down, it works. Um, steering wheel works the same, phone doesn't work though. Um, phone, nothing's connected yet, the Bluetooth. We've got app, so this is Apple Play, so you need to connect it via USB, I believe. Apple Car Play. Have a little bit more play around when I get it back in. Everything seems to be working. It's even got the, the temp on there. I think the temp's normally there. Got the time. Didn't have to set the time. Same time. So it's just a reverse thing. Just a reverse way of um, how I got it out. Got all those T20 screws up there. So I'll put this back in. I might speed it up just a little bit. Okay, so we've got all four back in. Time to put the face shield back on. Alright, so we've got those two T20s back in. Nice and tight. So now we'll get this section back in. So just getting this back in. There we go. 
Clip and clip. Got two. Shh. Don't tell the missus. She will never know. So these bits up here are pretty, pretty brittle. So just be careful, guys. Don't over tighten them. Looking good. Stock looking. Yes and no. Here we go guys. The moment you've all been waiting for. Oh yeah. As you can tell guys, that was pretty easy. And look, it's flawless. Pretty much just came in a newer version. It does fit a wide range of BWs as well. I'll put a link in the description below where I got it from and what vehicles it uh, fits. I have a little play around with it now. Got a USB cord that came with it as well. So I'll we'll go through. Go through all that stuff. Alright guys. Been playing around with the head unit a little bit. We've got Bluetooth. So this will make the missus happy. Bluetooth. With the USB. Um, it's Apple CarPlay. I don't have Siri. I need to update my phone for Siri so it doesn't work. But we've got the three millimeter headphone jack, anyways, so we can connect it straight to a, a phone. But Bluetooth works fine, and Bluetooth is hooked up. You can uh, make phone calls and whatnot. So let's see a phone call. Go to the missus. Going through the. And there we have it. Call on the missus. Sweet. And. I can't do it the other way. I can't. <laughs> but it works. Got the temp, got the time, and also, please do not forget your phone when you turn off the, the car. That's pretty cool. I think she'll be happy. If you like this episode and it helped you as well, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.